Uh, this is number 10. What did you have challenges with with number 10? Getting started with them, maybe? Well, the purpose of these is that a problem like A here, 10A, is really about 50 problems in one. We could put numbers like 2x minus 4, negative 2x plus 5. We could do all of those. Or we can put a variable A and B in there, and we can get you to just kind of imagine what happens to the pitch, what happens to the, the uh, positive and negative. So let's do the A one first. A less than 0, this will be negative. What will B greater than 0 be? B greater than 0? Positive. So those are the two pieces we want to keep in, in mind. So essentially, this f of x is like a negative a x minus b. So what's the slope of the line going to be positive? Excuse me, positive or negative? Negative. So it's going to be zipping down this way. And it can be anywhere up and down here. Well, no, that's not true. Because the shift is going to be down B, so can it be above the x-axis or below the x-axis? Below, so it's anywhere down there. So that would be uh, a graph that you have. B is greater than zero, but the formula says minus B. See that? That's what makes it a little tricky. This minus B here. Nope, because B is positive, B is going to be positive, and so if you go minus a positive, you're going to get a what? You're going to get a negative, so it'll be below. Think of, think of B, B is like 5, okay? So if you have an equation, AX minus 5, can you see that it's going to be below? Yeah. The other one is actually a little more interesting, and that's the uh, a over a plus 1, x minus a. And a here, is it positive or negative? Positive again. So uh, we're going to get some kind of a slope. a over a plus 1. Now that's going to be kind of interesting. This a over a plus 1 is kind of like 5 over 6, or 17 over 18 or one-half over three-halves. What do you notice the slopes of all of these are going to be? Greater than or less than one? They're all going to be less than one. So uh, it's going to be positive and flatter. It's going to be less than, a little less than one. So it can be something like that. And what is the... Um, what is the minus a, is that going to be above or below the x-axis, the intercept? Below. So this is going to be my minus a here. This is your minus b here. And your equation, your slope, is going to be less than 1 for that. And that's your number 10.